بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک سٹوڈنٹ ٹوڈے اٹس دا ایٹھ لیکچر آن نوڈ ڈاٹ جی ایس ٹوڈے وی ول سی ہاؤ وی کین کنیکٹ آور مانگو ڈی بی ڈیٹا بیس ود آور نوڈ اپلیکیشن دیر آر ایکچولی ٹو میکنیزمس ون ماڈیول از کالڈ دیر آر ٹو ماڈیولس ون ماڈیول از کالڈ مانگو ڈی بی ایز دا نیم آف دا ڈیٹا بیس that is called uh, traditionally mongodb client connector but it is uh, with the name of mongodb and the second module that can be used to connect with the mongodb is mongoose in today's lecture we will go through the mongodb client connector and in our next lecture we will see the mongoose and how it is different from mongodb and uh, we will see which one will be the preferable for our uh, application to build so let's start today's roadmap map will be we will see the mongodb client connector how we can connect to the database using this mongodb client connector then how we can create collection access different collections we will see how to insert one um, document into the db or multiple documents at a time into the db as a batch mode same we will see how find and find one works how to search from that database then we will see how we can delete one record or multiple record means the document and lastly we will see the update and Uh, we will see different aggregate functions onward so mongodb client connector uh, to use it you have to download it and install it from mongodb di uh, um, official mongodb drivers or second way out is so simple just go to your command prompt and run npm install mongodb after installing the mongodb that that command will install mongodb in a local folder as we are not installing it globally you can install it globally also by specifying minus g with it npm install mongodb space minus g now you have downloaded and installed a mongodb database data, uh, driver node.js can use this module to manipulate mongodb database so you have to require that uh, basically module into your application so we will see how to how we can create or connect to the database to create a database or to connect with the database start by creating a, a mongodb client object then specify a, a connection url with the correct ip address and the name of the database that is basically our uh, connectivity string we will see the connectivity string mongodb will create the database if it does not exist and if it exist it will make the connection so alternatively uh, you have the same code with which you can create the database or you can connect to the database first of all what we have to do we have to basically uh, after installing we need to require this mongodb into our application and we have to create an object of mongo client dot mongo client require mongodb dot mongo client this is basically an object of uh, we have we are creating an object of this class after creating the object what we are doing we are declaring a url url is our connectivity string as i have info i have told you in our last lecture mongodb by default runs on 27017 port uh, until unless you change the port by default it is 27017 port and this is our uh, local host or you can provide the ip address of 127.0.0.1 so uh, and last parameter is the name of the database you can provide the name of the database in connectivity in the url or in other case you can provide this database name afterwards also so after uh, doing this you providing the url you have to connect it actually so this is the connection call this is uh, a async call 
you can see mongodb.connect it is a function of this class which, which we have created the object and what the what are the parameters actually there there are two main parameters and one is the optional parameter this is the url with which we will we are connecting this is basically mongodb colon backslash localhost colon 27017 slash the database name we are providing the url then this is basically uh, we are providing some uh, optional parameters these are uh, just new url parser uh, same we can uh, provide some other sort of information also in this uh, basically optional param parameters and then the last parameter is our callback this will be if this will return either the error or the handler to the db so in this case if the error is there that means we cannot connect uh, we could not connect to the database in that case the error will come and we will throw the error and else case is uh, that means the database has been created or connected successfully and after the, this, this command is actually to close the connection but uh, normally we don't need to close the connection so these are the line of code that need to be written in a js file to connect your application with the database so we'll go through again we have seen we have created an object we have defined a url to connect with our database uh, in this url there are three main part part one is the server ip if you have hosted it into the cloud like uh, mongodb atlas you will provide your atlas uh, part here and the port at which it is running and then your database name after, after configuring configuring the url you will call the function mongodb.connect it is a async function it takes three parameters two parameters are uh, compulsory and one is an optional the first parameter is the url and second parameter is actually the optional parameters where we can define the uh, new url parser or um, pattern or etc different parameters are available uh, so we can define it it is totally optional and the third parameter is uh, the callback function which will return the error or connection to the database now to create a collection i uh, as I have told you in MongoDB, it is not compulsory to create the collection. Uh, it will automatically be created. But if you want to create the collection, so this, uh, this is a simple code that can be explained. For example, the method with which you can create the collection is create collection. You will call the create collection method. MongoDB, the same. You can see we are requiring the MongoDB client connector we are providing the url and here you can see i have not provided the database name this is the second way out first way out we will provide the database name here in the url part and second we are not connecting with a specific database at start we are just connecting with the mongodb server database server and after connecting with the database server and when we have established the connection with the database uh, with the database server then we are defining the database and that is with the function of dot db and providing the name of the db now we have uh, we have connected our database with two way out one we can provide it into the url and second if we are not providing it in, in the url we can uh, connect it afterwards using uh, the handler dot the db function and providing providing the database name now we have connected the database from over here this is the same code as we have seen in the last uh, slide uh, we till uh, that point we have the same concept the same code that will be replicated after that what we are doing we are using this object dot create collection and providing the name of the collection and after providing the name of the collection we are uh, uh, adding the callback with it in this case if error it will throw the error else part is actually uh, that means the collection has been created 
so to create a collection you just need to run a query dbu uh, dot create collection now to insert some record or some uh, document into the database you have uh, two methods one is the insert one it will insert one uh, document into the database at a time and we will see the second method also to insert one document into the database into the collection we uh, we will use the insert one command. here you can see this part of the code is the same as in last slide the connectivity the database connectivity that that will be uh, there to connect the database after connecting the database what we are doing we are defining a we are defining an object with the name company and uh, company in uh, ink and with the address which we have provided and then what we are doing we are calling a function dbo dot collection collection is what we have created the customers dot insert one insert one will insert one record at a time and uh, the parameters are the object which we have created and the callback if there is an error in writing into the database, it will return the error else the document is inserted into the database. So uh, there is only one uh, uh, new line. Actually, this is the callback as we have seen already. Only the, this, this line is new for you. We have created the object and we, ha we have passed that object into insert one uh, function. This is the first parameter and the second parameter is the callback function now we will see if we, we have to insert multiple documents into the database that uh, documents or that objects should be uh, in, into an array oh let's see to insert multiple documents into a collection in mongodb we will use the insert many command insert many function will insert uh, many objects at a time or oh. you can see the same code of database connectivity here that is there and we have replaced one object with an array of objects we have created an array of objects here we have name address name address name address and we have different one two three four five five objects are there into an array and what we are doing we are calling db dot dbo dot collection the customer dot insert many and we are passing the object the difference is in the last slide there was only insert one in this case we are replacing one with many and we are creating an array of object instead of a single object by doing this we are inserting five new documents with independent underscore IDs. Now to search from the database, we have seen the insert one, we have seen the insert many, or to insert multiple documents at a time, or to insert one document at a time. Uh, now we will see how to find one document from the database. You can see the same connectivity code here. It will remain uh, same. Then we we are saying then dbo dot collection and we are specifying the collection and what we are passing find one. Find one will find the one uh, first occurrence of any selection. In this case, we are passing an empty uh, basically curly braces or object. It means find all. Now it will find all the records and return only the first one. So by doing this, we are retrieving the first record or first document from our collection. So dbo dot collection dot uh, customers dot find one and we are passing an empty object. If we pass some specific property here, it will search the, that specific property and will re return the results. The same we have the callback function error or a result 
and we have uh, for example we have inserted the two parameters so we can print the result dot name or result dot address uh, as we have inserted in our last record that is name and address so we can print any of these result dot name or result dot address or we can print the both the find command the last one was the find one the find command basically finds and return all what it finds from the database here the find method returns all occurrence in uh, in the selection you can see the same code here and dbo dot collection dot find this is not the find one no it is find and we are passing an array with it sorry and uh, an object with it empty object with it that means it will return all the occurrence of uh, customers in the customer collection so it means select sari from customers. and we will get uh, the list of objects we will convert that list of object into an array form to array we are converting that list into dot to array and uh, we are calling the callback function with it if there is an error in reading uh, some information from the database there will be an error and if there is no error we, we can print out the result we can uh, convert that result into the json format we can we can show a specific property of this result we can show the result also and we can find a specific element from the database for example uh, we can sorry we can as uh, uh, display the specific parameter from the database for example the second parameter of the find method is the projection object that describes which field to include in the result you can see dot find and projection projection means what you need to display you don't want to display the underscore id to the customer so it will uh, the zero value uh, means we don't want to display this then the name we are displaying the name we are displaying the address so we are specifically telling uh, our db that don't uh, basically return us the underscore id we only need the name and address that will be projected and we are converting that into array and uh, we are displaying it the remaining part is the same so we can specify the fields which we want to project if we want to uh, show the person with the name of uh, Russian so what we will do we will uh, write then uh, in this calibrases we will write the name colon Russia double course Russia so this is the way out uh, with which you can provide a specific uh, um, object or specific element to search so there are two things this is the actually in SQL it is the where part uh, where we say select static from m where uh, id is greater than 10 or name is equal to russia so this is the where part and this is actually uh, the projection part this projection part is the select static static we are replacing with uh, select name address from customer where uh, name is equal to russia so we can specify the both things uh, the where part the projection part now another possible uh, basically aggregate function that can be applied is the sort we can sort the result by uh, defining any field so dbo uh, dbo is the same part of, above there and uh, the co uh, the code of connectivity is there and we are defining my sort is equal to name is equal to one that means this is you can see here one is for sorting ascending while minus one is used to descend uh, for descending so we are declaring and my sort means we uh, we want to sort our result by name and it will be in ascending order so dbo dot collection uh, dot find and we want to sort sort this result using my sort you can directly provide this object here also so instead of this name you can provide this, the curly braces and uh, you can provide the name colon one here also so you, know, you sort your result using the name and then put it into array and display it so you can apply the sort 
if you want to delete some specific record there is a function that is called the delete one function and uh, using this delete one function you can delete a specific object uh, we are declared we are defining a, a specific object that is the address mountain 21 and what it will do it will search that uh, basically mountain 21 into the, our uh, objects or uh, documents and if it find finds the mountain 21 it will delete the first document which it finds if there are multiple documents it will only delete the first one it will not delete all the mountain one uh, addresses containing the mountain one so delete one will record delete one uh, document at a time maximum delete many will delete all the documents that uh, are actually uh, under that under that uh, all the document that falls under this query for example in this case we are defining all the addresses started with o and uh, anything that will be started with o as an address will be deleted with this query and definitely you know, all the connection code is above this i am just uh, displaying the deleting part so <clears throat> to delete many you will provide um, the query and you will write the delete many function if you want to drop the collection you will call the function drop it will drop this collection To update some uh, information from the database, there are uh, there is a method update one, and uh, using this update me uh, one method, first you will find the uh, query. For example, uh, in this case, we are defining a query where address is value three four five. Var new value will be set name Mickey address Canyon one two four, three etc. We are updating the complete record. And what we are doing dpu dot collection dot update one my query uh, no we don't need to declare all the variables here we can directly provide this object here and we can directly provide this object here so uh, we are searching for value three three four five and replacing that record with this one and it will it will update only the one document at a time so when using the set operator only the specific fields are updated. Uh, these uh, only uh, the, uh, this query will only update the name and the address part and any other field will not be updated uh, now update one uh, i also if you want to update all the documents you will use update many so you have two methods update one it will update the one document and update many it will update all the values uh, which will find there for example all the addresses that start with it will update with uh, the name mini there are some uh, aggregate functions uh, there are multiple aggregate functions i cannot cover so better to go on mongodb combination uh, and see different functions there are operators here you can use any of those operators into your uh, project these aggregate functions are actually the complex queries that you run on uh, SQL, just like uh, group by command or uh, your uh, sum or average or etc. So uh, all those commands are called aggregate functions in MongoDB. For those, you have a function that is called dot aggregate. So you will use the aggregate, and in that you can do different type of pipeline functions like it will match where the status is a then what it will do it will group the result using the customer id it will uh, group by customer id then what it will do in each group it will sum up the amount it will add up the amount uh, and group it by customer id and it will sort using the total this one into descending order so the highest amount will be at top and the lowest amount will be at bottom uh, for each customer so this is a group by function and calculate a sum a sample same you can use the project part in what you want to display and what you do, what you don't want to display uh, zero is not to display the field 
and one is to display the field. So you can use the actually project part, um, projection part, and then the limit is to limit the result number of results you want to see. For example, you search on uh, the customer and you only display the first five decades. So for that, you need to implement uh, dot limit and provide the number of uh, record you want to display. So limit can be used. And finally, you can use joins uh, using the aggregate function. Although it is not uh, uh, very much applicable in MongoDB collections, but just to know that joins can be possible. So to use the join, you have to use the aggregate function and uh, a lookup. That means you are looking into another table and uh, this collection name is product and the local field is uh, product ID and the foreign field is underscore ID and it will match those and will turn you the result. So you can use joins. Uh, we will see in basically uh, when we will be using our REST API with front end, we will be using different uh, joins or populate the information uh, from the database. In that case, we will see these things. So at the moment, um, we are just going through the aggregate functions. We have seen a basic aggregate function just like sum, joins, and uh, limit, and sort, etc. Um, uh, or group. These are the aggregate functions. So now we will come up with uh, some code examples. We will see those examples and we will run those examples and understand how database will be connected. Thank you.